So it's 601, and we'll call to order uh, the St. Johnsbury School District meeting, uh, board of directors meeting. Um, I think that's all I have to say. You did the right, no, you're fine. You did the right thing, yes. <laughs> There's some more so been issued. Yes. Um, do we have any additions or deletions from the agenda? We, we do. Um, okay. I asked Patrick Campbell to come in and brief the board very succinctly and efficiently on our sewer construction. Okay, great. So we will do that first or second? First? What, let, way? Sure. Okay, is that all right, Jody? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay. Um, are there any additions, deletions, or I feel like there's a third thing to the minutes from the June 7th meeting? Um, uh, no, hearing none, I move. Uh, I, I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, 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 it's all right. Second. I second. Thank you. I so moved. You can't vote. Okay. Thank you. So you're asking for a motion. I would like, a, can I have a motion to approve the minutes yes, from the June 7th meeting? Nicely done. Thank you. <laughs> you to put all this nuance in there. <laughs> yes. You've got it. Okay. Uh, do I have to get, do I have to vote on adding the agenda item? Actually, you have no. to vote on approving the... The addition to the agenda. No. You do not. You have, but you do have to. You want to call the vote for approving the minutes, because you have... Didn't we do that? No. You have okay. a second. You called, it, you called for the... Okay, uh, can I have a vote to approve the minutes from the June 7th meeting? Yes. Aye. Aye. Second. No, you're no. aye. You're aye. aye. You're aye. aye. That's okay. <laughs> Every, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Thanks, everybody. No worries. Oh, we we're very flexible. We won't have to water the um, okay. So let's move to our first discussion item. We will give Patrick the opportunity to give us an update on the building. Okay. Will you come just so for the Kingdom Access folks? Will you just come to the table so they can hear you? And I'll also give you my computer. No, I don't. I don't. Well, so the Zoom folks can hear you as well. Oh. So we let's do that. Are you still getting it? Feedback. Well, I think it's because you, you could just. What do I need to do? Lower your volume and mute yourself. He's muted and volume off. There you go. There. There. That's better. So, uh, as as you're all aware. We had a sewer issue on two separate occasions in the last two weeks of school, and we determined with the camera work that the sewer pipe had dislodged, become sagged, and needed to be replaced and repaired. Uh, Kingdom Construction was one of the first people that I reached out to, and they were willing to come in and do it. Their window of opportunity was there, and so we graciously accepted their uh, offer to come help us out. Um, we then closed school early on the, the third time that it happened uh, for the remainder of the year, and um, they have done a phenomenal job getting excavators in here. We have an electric excavator inside the building working. Um, they've dug up everything that they could dig up today. They'll be back in the morning to finish the excavation and we are on target with trying to have everything done and ready for around the 1st of August. Now, that bearing that news depending on if we find anything different than what we're expecting to find, um, which is not going to happen. It, it's, un, it's, un, it's under the grade, and I'm very happy with so far with what's, what's happening. Um, I was able to save the, enough money from last year's budget because we were um, budgeted not knowing whether the bond would pass, and we were able to take that money, and we'll be able to pay for the project through that money. So this isn't coming out of your this coming year's budget not no. the upcoming budget no, it's last it's the current year's budget that we're currently in 
What does this mean for summer school? Because that begins before August 1st. They are very well aware and Kingdom Construction will and, and Thomas Mechanical, which is our plumbing company, are very aware they will only have a shut down for the period of time that it takes to cut the pipe and put the new one in. So less than four hours. Okay. So we can maintain summer school. We can do, you know, as planned. So the existing infrastructure stays in place and then the new infrastructure gets laid and then it switches over when by this time. No, that's no, yep. on, and by the, around uh, somewhere around August third. So right in, in, in the in the mid, in the early part of August will be complete completed. The Can walls will them? be back up. The bathrooms will be back in place and functioning. You know, at this point, we've torn, torn the walls down, tore all the bathroom fixtures out on three bathrooms and a closet apart from the band room. Um, so yeah. So, uh, so I'm hoping to hear that this wasn't stuff that had been renovated and the renovation. This is this is this not. Is new. So this is so we get some new bathrooms and, and some new infrastructure on top of that. Totally different. The uh, it's slightly off key, but you know, I know we have some tile separation out there. That tile separation has been there for twenty and some odd years. Sure it's new or it's not. It's not a new. It's not new. Okay. And that's and that is simply we, uh, at a, some point we're going to have to replace the, the front hallway tile, but we just haven't. Okay. You, everything just compiles up and and we've left it for that. I rarely are looking down the floor. Since since we've moved the offices to the front, more people have noticed that there's yeah. a wider there's a what we see is a wide crack between the tiles. Been there since I came here twelve years ago, hasn't moved. We've ma we measure it all the time and are they replacing it with PVC or replacing it with steel? Uh, the piping? Yeah. We have a structural engineer that's coming in, and he, he'll give us some guidance. Okay. It, it probably will be uh, steel. They'll use stainless steel hangers to hang it from so that there's no possibility of rot, which is what I think happened in the past, is that the, stain, that the, the rods that were holding the pipe in place rotted off and it let, allowed it to drop. Yeah. As long as it's the same metal so you don't get a galvanic reaction. <laughs> Correct. Um, thinking about the rest of the building and the age of everything, are there any other areas that might be warranting attention in years to come? Well, as we know, the roof will, will warrant attention and, and, and we've had it inspected again and I'm waiting for more information from the roofing company. Um, <coughs> I don't think structurally there's some outside concrete work that needs to be done on stairways and things like that. And a couple of stairwells in this inside the building that will have to be replaced or refurbished. But small items, not, mm -hmm. I mean, the roof is the big <laughs> item. Yeah, right. One thing I want to ask about in regards to the, reno the previous renovation, I noticed that the doors are sticking a little bit, and I guess I could have asked this offline, I don't mean to put you on the spot about this, but it does seem sort of a little something that needs to be addressed because it's a, it's a sticky situation, literally. It's, it's <laughs> fine, and I believe that Granite State is supposed to get me a quote on replacing both sets of front doors uh, with a different style door, yeah. but uh, still an aluminum store front door so that yeah. it will match. Uh, and I'm supposed to get that quote this week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ahead of you on that one. <laughs> well, I, I was going to ask, but I knew it. Um, yeah, thank you. Finally coming in out of the building, I think a lot of these things may pop up a little bit. We'll be a little more, only because we haven't seen the building. You know, I think it's hard for us as parents. This is the first time we've been in the building in a, in a year. And um, so we don't mean to put you, <laughs> but there's probably going to be a lot of things as we sort of, get to be a part of this in this building again because this building is an important part of our community and we've really missed it. I've missed being in it. I know. <laughs> yeah, thank you for toss up. We didn't know. So well that's a good segue to our next agenda item, I think, if unless anyone has any more questions. Or should I open up questions to the um anyone on Zoom? Mm -hmm. 
I think Peter or Todd would be the pe people I'm asking. Okay. Since I don't see any, I'm going to take this opportunity to embarrass Patrick thoroughly. <laughs> um, his continued stewardship of this building is one of the main reasons that we have the opportunity with Kingdom Construction. Um, his selflessness um, in terms of getting into a absolutely, no pun intended, crappy situation and doing everything he could do to fix it um, is a credit to him as a human being, let alone our director of facilities. And I would also like to publicly thank Kingdom Construction for stepping up and helping us out. This was an incredibly time sensitive uh, situation. They earned our bid for the work that was done last year for the renovation and um, they continue to earn our gratitude and praise. Um, we're very proud to share the community's public dollars with them for their um, prompt attention. They were here through the weekend, yes? They worked over the weekend. They worked on Saturday. They worked on Saturday. So um, we're very, very grateful both to Patrick and to King Construction for their efforts. Thank you, Patrick. Um, just one quick question. <clears throat> I know we had to get an exemption for bid. Did we get we did not, as it turns out. And I thank you for reminding me. I can read you the statute that allows us to not need an exemption. Just a moment. Title 16 of 559E3 allows a district to enter into contracts for emergency repairs without complying with Vermont bid law. Excellent. Under this section of the statute, it does not require a bid waiver from the AOE and allows the district to focus on the emergency need of the repair. So seeing as we were in such a bind that we needed to dismiss school, that obviously qualified it as an emergency. And the best part was Patrick, with all of his thoughtful planning, has the money. Um, and so it's going to come right out of this year's budget, which expires in nine days. <laughs> so, yes, we're, we're all set. Um, so then we'll move on to our next agenda item, um, and that's the Director of Finance report. And this is specific to, yeah, please come up here, to the deficit notes um, that we discussed at the last meeting, um, as well as how it relates to the tax anticipation note. And this information is in the board folder. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Today. <clears throat> um, yes. So I am here to talk about um, our tax anticipation note and uh, the loan that I was asked to look for. I did reach out to three um, local banks. That was uh, Union, Pasumpsic, and Community National. All three banks are banks that we um, currently are, have done business with or have done business with in the past. And um, Community National declined to participate. Um, they also did last year as well, so I probably will not ask them for any bids in the future. Um, we do still have a couple of small accounts with them, though, so that's why I had reached out to them. Um, so I think um, the best options were Union Bank Option 1 and Pasumpsic Bank Option 1, and those are the ones that we discussed or that I've discussed with the Finance Committee. Um, and I think that we were all in agreement that um, the, the offers are very comparable. They're actually, um, if you look at the, the total net, um, it's, it's really, really close. I think it's a difference of $384, so not very much. But because we are currently, um, our general uh, loan is with our gen all our money right now is with Union Bank, and I, being new, have established a really nice relationship with John, um, who's um, works for Union Bank, and he's he's been a really good um, resource for me, and I just think that it would be good to keep our loans there for now, because we already have an established working relationship. And I just, I think that, um, and with their offer actually coming out a little bit better, it makes sense. I do think we should definitely keep Pasumsic in mind for the future. I've worked with them in the past and I also have a good working relationship with them. And I think that um, because they came in so close, I definitely want to keep that relationship going. So I will, um, depending on if we all agree tonight, I will reach out to Mary and let her know that Please don't think we're ignoring you or forgetting about you. We do definitely do want to um, keep you in mind for our business in the future. But for now, this is, this is what makes sense. So the tax anticipation note potentially um, 
if we manage our money correctly, what happens is um, it goes into an investment account and we earn interest on it. And if we do this in such a manner that the majority of our money is always in that account, we can earn a, um, after we pay the, the bank their interest, we can earn uh, 14, over $14,000. And, and, and so that's that's a significant amount of money. So that is um, a goal that I really want to work on for next year. I really want to make sure to watch that carefully and to be able to maximize that amount. So I am really looking forward to working with John on that with you know, of Union Bank and um, getting that getting that done. So that'll be really good for us. Um, because of that, it also makes sense just to have our our loan short term loan with him. Now that, um, and we kind of discussed this in the finance committee too. So it's, it's we're, we had you, the board vote on up to $241,718. We hope that that is not going to be the amount, um, but just to be safe, that is the amount of the deficit. That is the amount that when the audit was done, that is our bottom dollar line. I did talk to the auditor and I think that um, Brian's going to double check with um, our lawyer to make sure, but according to the auditor, it's common practice that if we were to have a surplus this year, and I think <laughs> we kind of all agreed, we talked about this with the finance committee, yeah, that it, it does make sense that it isn't really a surplus since we have a deficit. and so. Um, with any luck, we have a, <laughs> we will have one, and if we do, any whatever we have will go towards that loan, and that will change that amount. So I'm not going to do anything really with that just yet. I just want to be ready to move on it. I would like board approval so that um, once I close out the books for this year, we can see where we're at with that loan. Does that make sense? <laughs> That finance committee and comparing against the stuff that was in the board back in today, though, the loan from Union uh, at 0.79 is, I thought it was for 89 for one year, correct? So it is It is for one year, and then we would have to uh, relook at it at the end of the year one. You have to reapply for We would have, yes, correct, correct. And of course, the amount would be much lower at that point because we would have made payments and there would be some adjustment. So I think, yeah, I think it's clear to the board members that um, the amount is, if we do do union, is not for 241, but actually for 89, with the plan to revisit right. any residual. Correct. Other potential yes, loan, thank you for clarifying. Which would hopefully yep. be at a much smaller amount if we run a Absolutely. surplus this year and, and, and accounting for the 52 that we actually yes. um, budgeted for in the, this year's budget. Correct. Correct? Yes. Okay. Does that make sense? Thank you for clarifying. Yes, absolutely. So does anybody else have any questions on that? I've really been thinking about it a lot as a okay. sort of like approving a, a line of credit in some ways. Yep. Sure. The way I'm sort of thinking about it is we sort of we know that this deficit's outstanding. We need to get it back on the books, and so we're essentially giving Jody the power of, or you know, allowing to open a line of credit to settle the books appropriately at the end of the year, which is what our auditors are telling us we have to do. So that, I mean, that's the number one thing is that we need to have this settled right. because it's part of our public audit. Um, and we have to get this back on the books, and this is the cleanest way to do it per our auditors. Yep, exactly. <clears throat> both loans, though, with both the Union Bank and the Sums of Available term in three years, correct? Yes. Okay. Yep. That would be the maximum we would hope to do, and with any luck, like I said, we. Yes. Yes, that would be the plan. There's no uh, penalties for paying it off early. Yeah. <laughs> We'll just, we'll be able to see where we're at, like at the end of this year and even next year, so, yes. And again, no, we talked about this, there's no loan origination fee with this year. No, no. And we're getting a great break in, so yeah. we have a 29% in enrolling it all into a financial package as us as a customer. Right. It's a really mm -hmm. smart idea. And again, I applaud you for looking at our cash flow and managing that in a way that's going to maximize that amount. Yes. So I think we need a motion. I probably should make a motion. Do I make yes. a motion? Can I cannot make a motion. Can I ask? I would like to ask for a motion to approve. Oh, I should have this language in front of me. The Finance Committee's recommendation. The Finance Committee's recommendation. For the deficit bid. For the deficit bid of Union Bank. In, do I have to give the amount? In the amount? 
you don't. In the amount, no, thank you. Uh, as outlined as in outlined. the board packet. Right. As in option one. Right. Thank you. So Second. Ask for a second. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Yeah, you can ask if there's further I, discussion. Is there any further discussion? I would like to ask for a vote. All those in favor. All those in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Any opposed? Any opposed? The motion is approved. Mm -hmm. uh, we can go on to our next action items or our next, which is or the board. Do you want to ask if there's any questions from Todd? Are there any questions from members of the public? I have a question. Can Great. You hear me? Yep. Yep. So you guys can hear me. Yeah, yes. I hear you. Uh, just double checking. Did you just pass the tax anticipation loan and yes. the budget deficit loan? She just did. No, we just did the deficit bid. We're going to do the tax anticipation loan next. Oh, okay. And, my question is just double checking because, as you know, I'm not that good with numbers. What's the interest rate on the tax anticipation note, and what's the interest rate on the budget reduction note? The um, uh, the loan that we're taking out for the deficit is 0.79, and the um, tax anticipation note is 0.85. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, so, yep, so now I'll take a motion to approve the Finance Committee's recommendation that we put our tax anticipation loan with the Union Bank. Um, is anyone? Option one. Option, option one, one yeah. as outlined in option one. Do I have a. Will someone make, will somebody that, make that motion? So moved. Second. Can I take a half a second, please? I'll second that. Thank you. Any, <laughs> uh, any further discussion? Any further discussion? Okay, but I'd like to take a vote. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Looks like the motion, the motion is approved, and mm -hmm. Jody, please go off and do your work. <laughs> go! I'm sorry, that was supposed to be nice. <laughs> well done. Thank you, well Jody. Done. Sorry, I didn't mean to make that no, hard. It was good. It was very well done. <laughs> okay. So now we have to the final reading of some policies to get the work of the fine, the policy committee. Hold on. Okay. Is it um, approved oh. hires on the action? Thank items? you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so the next action item is approval of new hire. We have one resume from. It's not Zhang. Zhang is the other. Uh, I'm sorry. CSLP. Right. And the name is. It is. Do I need to say the name? You don't have to. Okay, should you I? You certainly can. I should have Brian So we Brian. actually have, and I am remiss in not putting these in because I did not send them to Linda, so I actually will give you all the names. So we have, oh, where's Carol Lufkin? Okay, so we have Karen Duff, who's going to be a speech language pathologist for us part-time. Karen Duff is the wife of Brian Duff, director of our CATCH program. We have Michelle Lafreniere, who goes by the name of Shell, and she is going to be the other half of that speech language pathologist. And in the board package, you have, sorry, I'm looking at the resignation right now. You have Maggie Levesque, who is also going to come and be a part of our, who is already a part of our um, paraprofessional core, who is going to be a provisional teacher for the 2021-2022 school year. Um, and another individual who's already with us as a paraprofessional, Brendan Mulligan, who unfortunately did not get us his resume, but since he's not working, it's reasonable to think he's not checking his email, who is also going to be joining us under a provisional license and is going to be serving, both of them will be serving as behavior specialists. So there are four new hires that we, that are coming to you tonight. We don't have the resume, but Everything checks out. Everything checks out. They've both been, um, they're working with the AOE for provisional licensure, yes. Are they both experienced? They both, they have both served us as paraeducators, okay. yes. Okay, are there any other questions from members of the public? Anyone else in the room? Okay, hearing none. 
Uh, can I have a motion to approve the new hires? So moved. Get a second? Tell me you're really good at that. <laughs> second. <laughs> I'd like to have a vote to approve the new hires um, as outlined by Superintendent Rico. Aye. 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 Motion passes. We will approve the new hires. We look forward to seeing the resumes in our board packet. Indeed. <laughs> we'll look at them. Indeed, you <laughs> okay. will, for sure. Okay. Well, we can send them right now. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we'll go on to reading of the policies. I, do we have to, okay, we have to approve, it's not, okay. So we have to um, approve the resignation of, that's Jang. Yep, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Jang. And uh, Brian, I don't know if you want to say anything about that. We're sorry to see her go, and we absolutely understand why. Um, we're grateful for the time that she has served with us, and we wish her well in her next steps. Okay. The motion to approve the resignation um, with thanks to Mrs. Shane. Mrs. Shane. So moved. Second. <laughs> I'd like to have a, a vote and uh, accepting the resignation with thanks from uh, of Mrs. Chang. Aye. 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 Motion is approved. We'll accept the resignation of Mrs. Chang. Okay. And now we're going to go on to the ball series. <laughs> thanks, everybody. My first meeting. You're doing great. Thanks. Yeah. But, uh, do you want to talk about the policy committee? So these are all um, policies that you've heard at least once. Um, I will continue to share my gratitude for the policy committee for helping me to work through this. While I know it's not the most exciting thing that you do as board members, um, you're very close to the end. In fact, if I were to guess, it will not take us through the entire school year next year to finish an entire review of all the policies that we've seen. And then as I've discussed with both Tom and Abby, as well as the policy committee, I then plan to put us on a cycle of a three-year review so that over the course of three years, we will review each. We'll be able to take any that come from the VSBA that are new, that are required, um, and get them in as a part of our process. So. It's not glamorous, it certainly is tedious at times, um, and at the same time it's important for good governance, and I know this board is very committed to good governance, so um, thank you to Abby and to Tom for serving on that committee, along with Lydia Cochran, Jeremy Ross, <coughs> Kim Cornelius, Louisa Driscoll, who am I, am I forgetting anybody? Am I forgetting anybody? I haven't come up with anybody yet. Okay. That's, That's it. Okay. <coughs> All right, thank you very much. <coughs> okay. So do we need to go through and just, we have to approve each one of them, right? Correct. Okay. And so we could have a motion to approve the code of ethics as outlined in our previous meeting. And that one, to be clear, is to be rescinded. Okay. Yeah. Can I have a motion to rescind the code of ethics? So moved. Can I have a second? Second. I'd like to have a vote on removing to rescind the code of ethics. Aye. 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 Code of Ethics is now rescinded. <laughs> Impl uh, I'd like a motion to move the employment of relatives to a procedure from a policy. Um, can I have a motion for that? You're supposed to because we're going to war. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thought it was good. Okay, so move. <laughs> <laughs> can I get it back together? We're going to make I can't do anything. Yeah, I can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, can I get a second? Second. second. All right, let's, uh, can I, uh, in, do I have any questions? Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to start. That's all right, no, I, I forgot that last time. Do I have any questions? Okay. Um, if you're are in, favor, in favor, if you're all in favor of moving the employment of relatives to a procedure, please say aye. 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 All opposed? The motion passes, and we will remove employment of relatives to a procedure. I'd like to make a motion, to, or I'd like a motion to um, adopt the employee unlawful harassment, prevention of employee harassment policy. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Any discussion? Okay. All in favor of approving the employee employment employee unlawful unlawful harassment prevention of employee harassment policy. 
Sure. Please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? No, the motion passes. I'd like a motion to approve, to move the grade advancement policy to a procedure. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor of moving the grade advancement to a procedure, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? I think I forgot any discussion, but okay. we're gonna move forward. <laughs> Let me know, jump in, we'll address them, I'm I promise. Yep. <laughs> okay, no, thank no you. comments, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I would like a motion to approve or to move the homework policy to a homework procedure. Um, is there any questions? Hearing none, I'm supposed to say that. <laughs> so moved. Was it my turn? No, but that's no. okay. Sorry. It's all right. So you, you got it. 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 So, so moved. So moved. Second. Do I have a second? We'll just skip to <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm All sorry. in favor of moving the great advancement, or we, no, homework. homework. It's okay. It's all right. We're homework. Fine. Oh, it's better. I can see it better that way. Good. Homework to a procedure. Please say aye. Uh, aye. aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, we will now move the homework to a procedure. <coughs> homework policy to a procedure. Uh, I'd like a motion to move the selecting library materials policy to a procedure. Is there any questions? Hearing none, I'd like a motion to move the selecting library materials from a procedure to a policy. Other way, policy, policy to, to a procedure. procedure. Thank you. It's okay. So, second. Okay. All uh, in favor of moving selecting library materials from a policy to a procedure, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Hearing none, we will now do that. <laughs> <laughs> the, sorry. You're doing You're doing well. great. You're <laughs> doing great. Keep it going. You're doing great. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to adopt the drug, the student drug and alcohol policy. Is there any discussion? So anyone, moved. Thanks. Anyone have a second? Second. All in favor? Oh, are all in favor of mo uh, m adopting the student drug and alcohol policy? Please say aye. 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 Awesome. Hearing okay, anyone opposed? Okay. Harry done. We will move to adopt the student drug and alcohol policy. Good job. Thanks. Uh, I'd like a motion to rescind the student enrollment policy. Add work. Addendum, you know, add wording know, to yeah. student attendance policy. Um, any questions about that? To be clear, we're taking some wording from the current student enrollment policy and we're adding it in to the student attendance policy, so that's why that um, notation is in parentheses. So moved. Second. All in favor of moving the student enrollment, uh, of rescinding the student enrollment policy, please say aye. 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 All opposed? We will rescind the student enrollment policy. And add wording to the student enrollment policy. And, add, we, and yeah. add that wording to the student attendance policy. Exactly. I would like a motion to adopt the student attendance policy. So moved. Do no, I have kidding. a second? Second. <laughs> Great. All in favor of adopting the student <laughs> attendance policy? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Hearing none, we will adopt the student attendance policy. <laughs> I'd like a motion to adopt the student freedom of expression policy. So any questions? Yeah. Okay, is it, is it actually it's like this? So turn. moved. <laughs> Sorry. All in favor of adopting the student freedom of expression policy, please say aye. 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 Okay, we have finished the discussion items as outlined mm -hmm. in the board, in our board agenda. Uh, we'll can open it up to public comment if we can just have people identify um, who they are and what town they live in. That would be helpful, and we can start with those in the room. Hi, guys. Hi. Um. Yeah. Oh, cool. Thanks. Yeah, so my name is Amy Hornblast, for people who may not know. Um, for 10 years, I've been a health educator in the school district. 
Um, it took about eight or seven of those years to get my own classroom, and then I finally got my own kitchen that was built for me, thank you, Patrick, um, so that I could cook more with the kids. I managed the garden, was able to bring food up, um, it was, and I love the kids. I love all 700 of the students that I got to help and assist through all of the trials and tribulations of life, you know, between pre-K and eighth grade. Um, and so last summer, um, I resigned from my job here, and that, that was a big decision uh, for me. And the reason I did it was um, in July at the school board meeting when the policies were introduced, um, we were asked by our superintendent um, in wording sort of like this, but that we would need to um, do things that went against our personal and professional judgment. And I, I, don't, I don't do that. And, um, I wasn't raised that way, and I am fortunate enough to not be in debt to student loans or other things. I can eat dandelions. I know what parts I can eat. Um, you know, so I, I had the option um, to to choose my conscience, and so I've spent the past year um, researching masks. Uh, masks for me were just instinctually. I could just see just a car wreck happening on all levels um, to introduce masks to children. And that's because of my understanding of biology, um, my understanding of viruses. I've been teaching about viruses and prevention since you know, the early, uh, was it 1990 with the AIDS epidemic. Um, I've worked with people with social, emotional, you know, developmental issues. Um, I've helped you know, heal social, emotional trauma. Um, and, and I know, you know, I could just see on all levels um, that this was a problem, so my instincts told me this was wrong. I started to conduct a statewide survey, which I have just come out with the final report. That's why I'm here today. Um, it's available at vtmasksurvey.com, and I'm gonna send it to all of you too, so you'll just have the PDF, it'll be easy. Um, because I was, I was totally surprised when I started to look into this because I've worked in healthcare fields and I have never heard of masking, universal masking, certainly not community masking. Um, and so I had to do some research and it turns out it is crystal clear. In fact, OSHA's original handbook on the use of respirators, which includes half face dust masks, the whole first half of the 1976 manual explains biology. It explains the importance of breath. It explains that when you restrict breathing, that's, that's dangerous. There, there are dangers, serious dangers, um, that our cells every second are burning the glucose that we eat, the, you know, the food, the sugar. And for that combustion to happen, they need oxygen every second. You can't say, I'll breathe later. I'll breathe after school. I'll breathe after soccer practice. I'll breathe after work. This is something we have to constantly be doing. Um, and so this restriction, any restriction of breathing, is serious. And just if Abby Thompson was here, we could ask her, what would happen if we put a mask in front of the fan on your computer? Um, that fan was engineered to specifically, you know, and that, fa that fan is not bigger than it needs to be. Nature and engineers are, are um, you know, frugal, and, and, and they are not going to expend energy on things they don't need. So we don't have extra big lungs. We don't have, this is a requirement. And OSHA standards say that we have to prove that there is a contaminant in the air that is of danger, and we have to prove that people are medically able to wear these respirators, and then we have to be constantly checking on them to make sure they're okay, and assessing and remedying any harms. Things like headaches, Amy, dizziness. Amy, I'm gonna interrupt you for a second. Um, Can you get to the point about what this is how this is relevant to the school situation currently? What do you think? What, well, I, I want to know how this is relevant to a school board meeting and where it's going. This seems to me that you're making a statement about public health and the well, place that, to that's take my it. Next, if you, yes, I'm heading so, right there, I promise. So, that's my yeah. next thing. Yep. Um, so these are not my opinions. This comes, this is what the research shows. We have decades and decades of research on healthcare workers wearing these respirators and the damage that it can do. And there are serious concerns about that. Um, Dr. Levine's own research found with a UVM, um, that, that it can, masks can increase contamination and the spread of, disease, of this disease, and that children don't spread it. 
Um, there, there is so much research, and it pours out every day. And you read that paper. I think you're misinterpreting that paper. No, well, that's what the so. So I think that's what the statement. We need to cap. We need to cap. I think for for. Well, okay, I think we have I, a board I, policy regarding. So and Amy, thank you for coming. First no, of all. I'm just going to put a time restriction. Yes, just yes, give me a no, second. I promise, okay. So I, promise, I think I we need to put a short. Let's let's put it so that we all feel comfortable. And because we are, we want to give public access, and we do have a policy, a board policy regarding how much time we can give, and, and okay. that's at the discretion and of the chair. Right. And I that's okay. No thought, problem. So I didn't so, know. So it's okay. And and we, you know, this is. Um, we're, I'm learning. We're all learning. No, and, and I think Thank I you. think this year. Um, has been a lot of really tough choices for everybody. Um, and we know that there is, I, I believe that there is an impact um, to understanding children with a mask on. I think we would be foolish to not think that it doesn't have an impact, but when you talk about a global pandemic and the things that we were doing to keep our schools open, people were making tough choices. And right. here we are at the end of the year and we've kept our school open. So I think we have a lot, you know, we're so, if you could I get you to finish up, yeah. it's in the next couple minutes. I, minutes. Yeah, no, no problem. I'm more, okay. more than halfway through. Okay. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. No, I understand okay. that your time is valuable. This is super. I mean, Wait, and I think I think you know. Important the and I, and I, I will give the attention um, to the to, to the paper. Yes, thank and you. I, and I will do that. But I do think we need to keep this relatively short. Okay. Thank you. And um, and there are 150 well. I mean, these are the reasons. These are, this is where you go for your information. Journal of American Medical Association. I mean, people are stepping up every day and saying this. That's why I'm not afraid to and, come and to you right now because, because this said, is. We 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 put our our trust in her. Um, and we, we look to her to make those decisions as our statewide, well, as our coordinator for the school to make decisions. Right. So, so, so if I can get back to your question, yeah. that's exactly where this okay. is going. As a school board, though, these are recommendations coming down from the Agency of Education. You have the power to say no, and there is a reason you have that power. Um, because they can't recommend these things. That, to, to do a study on kids in this way, to do a study on kids in math would be unethical. But here we are doing it, right, all over the world, and we're not even paying attention to what's, what's happening. So protecting kids is our top priority, and as educators we know we can't always do that, right? But there are some things that are in our control, and at the very least we can do no harm. We, to harm, to actually actively harm kids. Um, I just came to you to say let the kids breathe. Let them breathe, especially exercising, sports, heat, OSHA, I, and I cite well, all I this, I hope you will look at it. That's what happened in the state of Vermont at this point, is that we have, you know, the, the governor has relaxed those. If you go to the ball fields, we're all out there playing without masks on unless you're uncomfortable doing it, and that's because the, we, Great. You know, we have relaxed the mandates, and Thank that's you. where we're at as a community, I would say. Thank you, and there, there is a policy, and I cite it in here, and you can look it up. Um, of using a vaccine or mask policy in hospitals and healthcare settings for the last few years. If nurses and healthcare workers in these certain environments did not get the annual flu vaccine, they were made to wear a mask. And I, I cite in here a court hearing in Ontario, Canada, where the nurses sued over this policy, and the arbitrator found that it was being used as coercion. And so as we go forward, we also have staff who maybe cannot take vaccines or whatever. Um, we have staff with asthma and COPD. I was not only worried about the kids. You know, we have elders, pregnancy. We know, we know that when women wear masks when they're pregnant, it's a danger. And without any qualifiers or conditions for these situations, I just I really ask that if you're having trouble hearing what I'm saying right now, if, if you're not feeling relief, which I would think you would be, like the kids can breathe. Guys, this is, this is great news. The research shows it, proves it. They need to breathe. Let's take those masks off. If you're not feeling relief or validation for what your own body's been telling you all year, then I'm gonna ask you to look inside and say what on earth would stand between you and allowing another person to breathe. I mean, real, I mean I'm sorry to be dramatic. This is so dramatic. It's serious. Well, thank you, Amy. We appreciate wow. having your time. We'll really take a look, look at the material that you. There's a reason. Yes. There's a reason why you are hesitating to admit. Just we live on Earth. With, um, with is there any other practice. questions? Yeah. Is there any other questions? Questions for me? So I'm open. I yeah. Love is there anybody having questions? This. I mean, really, that we can't discuss this. Isn't that a little weird? I can. To be clear, our we are no longer requiring masks. We are following what. The recommendation is for, from the Department of Health, which is that if you are unvaccinated, you are recommended to wear a mask indoors. It is not required 
for either students or staff. It's not required for any individual. When the governor lifted his state of emergency, um, that came with it the um, emergency order. With that emergency order lifted, there is no requirement for mask wearing on campus for any student or staff member. It is only strongly recommended that if you are unvaccinated, you wear a mask. So. Brilliant. Thank you, Brian. That's reassuring. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. So any other questions from members of the um, Zoom? Yep, I just had a quick question. Yeah, great. Go ahead, Peter. I saw the uh, school board retreat on the calendar for next month. Is that open to the public? Of course. Yes. Okay, great. Thanks. Sure. Thanks, Peter. We look forward to seeing you there. Um, I think that we can call this meeting to adjournment unless there's any other further comments or questions from the board or members of the public. Okay, it's 646. And I'd like to, to motion, make, have a motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor of adjourning the meeting, please say aye. 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 All those opposed.